Hi everyone, it's Beck from BritScent. Today we're going to be talking about ways of describing things that are old. A lot of students ask me if I have any good advice on how to describe old things. Luckily, I've got a lot of good tips, so let's get started. When we think of adjectives to describe the age of something, the most basic ways are to talk about young or old. But there are some situations where we need to be very careful how we describe how old something is. Let's think about buildings and objects to start with. With buildings and objects, machines, etc., we can say old or new. For example, my furniture is very old. I need some new furniture. Or that building is very old. In fact, it's ancient. Now let's talk about people. We need to be very careful when we describe how old people are. We can talk about young people, but generally we don't talk about old people. It's not thought as very polite in English. For example, you shouldn't say, happy birthday, grandma. Wow, you're getting so old. In the same way, you don't see in newspapers, old people need help. It's important to remember asking how old you are in Western countries is seen as being rude. We don't generally ask about how old someone is, what their salary is, and if they're married or single. So how do we describe old people? In newspapers and magazines, writers will talk about older people. This has the same meaning as old, as in they've lived many years, but it does not have the negative feeling which goes with the word old. For example, younger people have lots of energy, whereas older people have lots of experience. Let's look at another example. Older people need help in our community. However, in novels, writers will still use the word old to describe people. For example, the novel the old man and the sea. Let's talk now about very old people. If someone is very old, we might use the word elderly. In the dictionary, it says somebody over the age of 65 can be called elderly. However, many people at the age of 65 don't want to be called elderly. It's generally okay if you use the word elderly to describe someone who is not strong enough to live alone. So an elderly person might live with other old people in a home. We sometimes say the elderly to describe a group of elderly people. For example, the elderly might need help with their shopping. I have an elderly aunt who lives in a care home. All right, is that all clear? So when we talk about buildings or objects, we can say new or old. In novels, writers might still refer to people as old. In newspapers and magazines, they usually use the word older. If someone is not very strong, or very old, we can use the word elderly. We can use elderly as an adjective, or we can use the elderly to talk about a group of older people. Remember though, it's not polite to ask how old someone is in Western society. Okay, that's all from me today. I hope you feel confident now about talking about people and things that are old. See you again soon. Bye.